Hello, 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 you guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle. If you're new here, subscribe down below. We're doing a week in my life in New York City. I've had a lovely day. I've spent the whole morning doing emails, so I just didn't even start vlogging, honestly. But I just went for a little hot girl walk with my little Ritzia romper, and I went to Trader Joe's, and I got a ton of groceries. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in so long, and I really don't know why. There's no excuse. Also, Trader Joe's reminds me of college, and I miss college, quite frankly, which I'll get into later. But Trader Joe's is just amazing. They have so many amazing snacks. I posted on my Instagram story last night, and you guys gave me a ton of suggestions because I feel like Trader Joe's is always coming out with like new foods. And I also like went down a rabbit hole of looking on TikTok and Instagram and looking at like easy Trader Joe's meals. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys too if you're like going back to school or anything or you just need some easy meals. I gotcha. Um, so I'm gonna unpack all these groceries and then of course, of course, we're gonna do a Trader Joe's haul. All right, grocery haul time. I have it all sprawled out here. Whew, where do I begin? We got bananas. Lemon basil pasta salad. This stuff is some of my favorite. I used to get this all the time in college. This is an amazing little lunch. It comes with a lemon that you squeeze on top and it has little bow ties and peas and arugula. It's so delicious. I wanna just like increase my fruit and veggies intake so I was just buying a ton of produce because I just like to snack on it. I'm trying these plum cots. Got broccoli, snow peas, another great snack. You can dip them in hummus or I just eat them plain. This spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip is fire flames. Dip it into some with some chips. This is a recommendation from you guys, the chicken sausage. I thought this would be really yummy for breakfast. I'm excited to try this, or maybe like mix it in with a pasta. A meal I'm gonna make is, I used to make this all the time in college as well, an orzo pesto pasta, and I cut up cherry tomatoes and zucchini, and I mix it all together, so those are some ingredients for that. And I think I'm also gonna put arugula in it this time as well, I decided. Got some turkey, blueberries, eggs. I decided to go with some baby's breath, just um, really easy upkeep <laughs> um, for my flowers for my table here avocados okay i used to love the rice and bean burritos and i don't know if they just got different packaging but i don't remember the rice and bean burritos having a ton of cheese this is the closest they had so they're they i think it's just different packaging and there's always been a little cheese so excited about that oh and then i've always wanted to try bone broth and you guys said that the trader joe's bone broth is good you can do so many different things with it i've heard that you can just like heat it up in a mug and drink it which I think would be really nice. Um, you can saute it, you can use it as a soup base. Um, so we're gonna give it a try. Um, updates to come on that. Here we've got some little snack roos. Got some pita bread. I was hungry when I was shopping, if you guys could tell. Pita bread to dip into hummus. More sourdough bread, some tortilla chips to dip into the Greek yogurt dip because they didn't have the corn dippers that you guys suggested. And I've actually had them before, but they were out of stock. Just more pita chips for my hummus. And then over here is a lot of the frozen stuff. So one meal I wanna make that I saw on Instagram, like a Trader Joe's Instagram, was a super easy chicken parm. And so they suggested to get the frozen breaded chicken, these tenderloin breasts, mozzarella cheese log, the Genova pesto, and I also got another one to make the orzo pesto with. If you guys can't tell, Italian is my favorite cuisine. <laughs> um, and then it also said a bruschetta spread, but they did not have it. I could not find it anywhere, so I'm just going to use like pasta sauce. I also bought this just to have in my freezer for a lunch or a dinner when I'm just like alone. The beef and broccoli. This is the orzo. So many of you guys said the chicken cilantro mini wontons. Oh my gosh, so many people, so I had to get it. Chicken fried rice. I've gotten many times, and a lot of you guys suggested it as well. Hash browns because I saw this amazing idea on that same like Instagram I saw. <laughs> Hear me out. I'm such a big breakfast person. A hash brown with an egg and avocado on top and like some hot sauce. <laughs> a whole bite. And these literally taste like the McDonald's hash browns. So I don't know how nutritious they are. They're not at all really, but they are so good. Especially when you're hungover and I have those in my freezer. I'm like, thank you, Danielle. And then I got some brown rice frozen rice packets to just heat up, um, you know, to make with broccoli, beans, stuff like that. So now I need to put everything away. I also need to figure out how to fit everything uh, into here because I, as you guys can see, I'm a big beverage gal these days. And uh, this is all I've got for the food. So we're just going to have to figure this all out. All right. That's hot. It's not even that organized, but I'm like, oh my gosh, look, I have my produce and my eggs, dairy, meat situation. And then, oh my gosh, I'm just so happy to have stuff in my refrigerator. 
All right, I haven't had flowers on my table in a while because I've been traveling and I was like, this is wasteful to buy flowers, but yay. Okay, for sure need to cut these one second. And round two. Ah, oh, look how beautiful. Okay, love. I cannot wait one day when I like live in a house somewhere, I'm gonna go to like Trader Joe's and buy a ton of flowers and do floral arrangements and like put flowers around my house. I'm wow, I'm getting to that era of my life where I'm excited about stuff like that. But right now, loving my New York life, do not get me wrong, but it's something to look forward to for sure. The simple things, um, or the little things, should I say, yay. One thing about me is I've been back to drinking Celsius. <laughs> I really still do like drinking decaf coffee in the morning because I'm not like I don't know I feel like if I just drink coffee or something like right when I wake up It's like doesn't even work and that makes me anxious But throughout the day when I like actually feel tired I've been having coffee or a celsius and I've just been really enjoying drinking these this one's the arctic blue Sparkling frozen berry edition. I have to say it is so good. It tastes like gatorade But like it's sparkling and you guys know I love sparkling so cheers Okay, time for lunch. <laughs> it's literally 3.40, but I guess I kind of had a late breakfast. I am so hungry. I'm ready to eat. Boiling water right now. This is a quick little easy meal. Highly suggest, and it feels very like fresh tasting, and you got a little bit of everything. I start out with making the orzo. Once the water starts boiling, it only takes five minutes to cook. It's very fast. Then what you'll do after cooking it, I put it in a pan like this, and I'm gonna chop up the uh, cherry tomatoes and chop up the zucchini, and I'll mix in the orzo on the you know hot pan with the vegetables. I'll put in the arugula as well, so it kind of I haven't I have never added the arugula before, so we're gonna try it out. It could be an epic fail, we'll see. But I just wanted some more greens, and then I mix in the pesto with it as well, and it's quite delicious, and I can't wait to eat it. So yeah. I'm going to start preparing the veggies while I'm waiting for the orzo to boil. Oh my gosh. So I, I forgot that when Delaney and I used to make this, like we wouldn't even make the whole bag and that was for two of us. <laughs> I made the whole bag of orzo, which is fine, but I had to end up using both things of the pesto so I won't have the pesto for the chicken parm, but that's fine. I just mixed it all together, it looks amazing. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat this now. But yeah, the meal is super easy, highly suggest. I've I been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down. Cause I ain't got nobody I always feel so lonely when the day is through I'm in the spotlight, not on to midnight I want somebody to hold my hand Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of how We are in the bathroom now, I'm about to do a quick Makeup situation. I'm going to get my nails done with Mickey. I've had these Hailey Bieber glazed donut nails um, For a little bit now and it's time to change them up. I am so obsessed with the chrome though What I got for these is I just did a light pink gel and then she used a chrome powder over top I kind of want to do chrome but like a very light Kind of like neon yellow With the chrome on top not an original idea. I've seen other people do it, but I feel like that's what I want to do next. I feel like that's my journey. So I did hop on the road train. Speaking of um, glazed donut nails, she restocked and I was there at whatever time it was. I added to cart super fast. I didn't get everything. I just wanted to try the road peptide glazing fluid and then I got one of the peptide lip treatments. I got the unscented one. Um, so far, I used this on my face earlier today. Like, I don't know. It was good. But it, it kind of made my face sticky, I feel like. So I don't know. I'm going to use it a little bit more, see how I feel, like with makeup under it. And then the lip balm's pretty good too. But I just want you guys to, if you're feeling left out that you didn't get the drop, like I think it's good stuff, but I don't think it's like, oh my God, this is the best thing I ever used. Like I love this Sunday Rally CEO glow stuff. I feel like that makes me look like a glazed donut, but 
I'm going to use this a little bit more, and I will keep you guys updated. I love Hailey Bieber and everything she does. I love the packaging, and this stuff is good, but I think because I got on the second drop, and then everyone had hyped it up so much, I was kind of like, okay, like, this is good. I'll keep using it, but I don't know if it's amazing, you know? But I'm just going to do some light makeup because after I get my nails done, I am going to meet some friends for dinner. They both went to Georgia with me. One has lived here for a little bit, and the other one just moved here. Um, to New York from Georgia, so I thought it'd be fun for the three of us to go get dinner. We're gonna go to this place called Sunny Boy in the Lower East Side, which I've been really wanting to try. Um, so I'll probably have to go straight from nails, so that's why I'm just doing my makeup now. Here is my little OOTN of the night. I wanted to be comfortable sitting in the nail salon, but like, you know, cute and fun. I just got these pants from Shopo. Love them. Love the orange. This top is from Revolve. It's just like a crop tee. Bag I'm renting from Vivrell, and then I'm wearing my Air Forces. Did light makeup. I should bring some lip gloss, and then we'll be good to go. Here's the before of my nails. I literally almost thought about just getting these again, but summer's almost over, so I want to do some more bright colors before I can't anymore. a little earlier than I thought. I thought I was gonna have to go straight to dinner, but I finished with some extra time, so I came to my roof. There's like a chill in the air. Someone posted on their story earlier, like fall is in the air, and I was like, Pfft. yeah, right. But it low-key is, at least today. It's like a little, a little breezy, and it feels really nice. Here are the nails. I am so obsessed with how they turned out. They're so light, but like bright at the same time. I'm obsessed. We just did this like neon yellow with the chrome powder over top. Like, ah, it's so good. It's Wednesday morning and I woke up with some pretty not fun um, period cramps and lower back pain from the period cramps. I'm like, maybe I slept weird. I don't know. I just feel like not the vibe. <laughs> Everything I'm describing, I'm like pretty not bad and like not the vibe. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I've been sitting here drinking coffee. I just made some breakfast watching some YouTube just to kind of like wake up. It's Wednesday, so we post Gals on the Go new episodes and I post new videos on Wednesday. So I was like doing all the promo for that. I've just been in a funk the last few days. Like not 100% myself, like basically when I got back from Nantucket. <laughs> um, and I think it's because like I was able to kind of identify it. Every year, okay, I've only been out of college for, this is my second fall post-grad. Ugh, I feel so icky and like empty in August because for the last 22 years, I, around this time of year, would go to school. You know, you're preparing for school, you're getting your backpack, you're getting your class schedule, you're texting your friends, like, do we have any classes together? You're getting to school, you're rushing, you're um, maybe not rushing, but you're preparing. Like, there's just lots going on and... I don't know, I feel like my body's like, okay, it's time, where is it, you know? And obviously I love my life so much right now and I am so, I pinch myself every morning that I wake up in New York City and that I'm doing what I love. It's the coolest thing, it's so crazy to me still. But, you know, naturally, it's just, specifically during this time of year, I experienced this last year too, it's like, whoa, I, like I see, cause I still know people that are in Georgia right now and I'm like seeing their Snapchat stories and like, I just feel like I should be there, you know? Like, I'm like, why am I not there, you know? And all my friends are like talking about it too. I'm just like in a weird mood this morning and I felt the need to sit down and tell you guys this. Like, I really don't wanna go work out right now. I have a workout in like 45 minutes. And I texted Jane, my trainer, and I was like, I'm having some pretty foul cramps. 
can we like do things like workouts that are sitting or more arms? Like I just can't do any like, what is the word? Like squats and lunges. Like I just don't think my body, like I'm just trying to listen to my body, but I still want to like, you know, I haven't worked out since last week because I went to Nantucket and then Jane had to reschedule on Monday. So I just like, I think I need to work out. And I've also just been having this feeling recently. Like I miss spin. I miss it so much. And I want to get back to it so bad, but I don't really know how to like ease myself back into it because I've tried to ease myself back into it by like going to my gym downstairs and getting on the bike, but I'm like sitting down there alone and I just like get in my head. I'm like, oh, my heart's beating fast. Like I'm going faster and like no one's here. Something were to happen to me. Like these are the thoughts that go through my head. I don't really know if I'm ready to go to the other side of the scale where it is going into a dark room in a soul cycle class or something and it's like beats bumping and like you're like panting and because I haven't done spin in so long I'm sure I'd be a little out of shape so I'm like how do I find this perfect in between it's almost like I need like a spin friend and we like spin together and I like understand what I'm going through I don't really know I don't know but I, what I really miss the most is like being in class and like getting after it. Like I miss Spin Danny so much and I just let her get away from me. I let her get away from me. I mean, I was literally a spin instructor if you guys didn't know this in college and I It's four, three, two, sit down. Uh, eh. Like it was so fun and I would create these dope playlists. I was at the girl I went to dinner last night with she was like I used to love taking her in classes because she went to Georgia too and I was like uh, but I get so scared now, yeah. Also, when I do that singing thing, it's just for fun. I don't think I'm a good singer. Layout for today, this week is like kind of chill. I think that's why I've had more time to like think about my life. Um, which I love chill weeks, it's completely fine and I'm very thankful for those and I just have more time to get like a lot of computer work done. I had to like renew my driver's license, stuff like that, random adult things. I, today we're gonna go work out and then from there, I think I'm gonna be able to come back and shower really quick. I'm getting lunch with Kelly who we literally haven't seen each other in so long and I really love her and she's such a good friend to me. Um, and so we like blocked out like a two hour lunch to sit and just catch up with each other because we're both very busy and like we'll text kinda and like respond to each other's stories but then like there's just a lot we need to like download on for each other. And then I will come back and get some work done. And then my friend Seb actually asked to go for a walk on West Side Highway and get dinner. So that's layout of the day. It's a, it's a very chill day. It's a just catching up with friends. And I'm not complaining about that. Um, but I need to listen to my body. It's always like the worst in the morning. I feel like the worst in the morning, like if you're sick or if you have cramps or like whatever it may be, I feel like it always feels the worst in the morning and then it gets better throughout the day also. I'm just, my hair. Anyways, I'm gonna end this clip now. Thank you guys for listening to my TED talk. Let's turn today around. I need, I want to turn today around. I want to be in a good mood. I think talking with re really good friends and being around friends today is gonna be good for me. But at the moment, I just wanna curl up in a ball. Okay, workout set is on. I'm just doing a quick back rollout with my foam roller. The set is from Set Active. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, the cracks I'm hearing. You must get this foam roller on Amazon if you wake up and feel like you slept on the wrong side of the bed. Let me tell you, this just snaps it back into place. Whew. And a little too much sometimes, you're like, oh my gosh. Wow. I was listening to this music while I got ready. Music to get me out of a funk. I played this song and it made me happy. All right, like I said, this set is from Set Active. I've never had their sets that have this material before. I like it. I decided to wear leggings today because I just want to feel all like pulled in, you know, like when you have your period, just like, oh. Uh. Yeah, and these are my new workout shoes, my APL sneakers. Love them. Let's take on the day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take on day. Get it all out, Katie. You got this.
quick change. I just came back and I showered. I literally saw on Kelly's Instagram story that she like put on makeup and looked kind of cute. So I immediately like did quick like five minute makeup. My hair, my headband is going to be these sunglasses. They're from Versace actually, from Sunglass Hut. Fun, different vibes. Tank top is from Shopo. Yeah, Shopo as well. I'm wearing my little nippies. I will link them down below. Everyone needs them. My Chanel bag, I haven't worn it in a minute. And then my favorite green cargo pants from Urban Outfitters. And then my Air Forces. We're going to Ludlow House, so which is like Soho House, but it's the one Lower East Side, so I didn't think I'll be able to film. But see you guys after. Here with Buddy. Oh. Hi. 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 Guys, we live like so close right now and we're about to live like actually even further Having away. An emotional breakdown as well. Kelly's moving one way, I'm moving the other. And we're just realizing this is one of, one of our oh, last yes. walks together. Like going back to the same area. Yeah, drama. But we are going to be in a long distance relationship. Yeah, and honestly sometimes... <laughs> I feel like it is so Oh my god, are you okay? okay? Of course I'm fine. Oh my god. I don't know. No, it's more... Oh, it's a staple. A lower east side a staple. <laughs> but I feel like that was our bonding factor. Like it was. Beginning. It was like, oh my god, we live so close. Like we should hang out, and it just happened to be that we really liked each other. Our little breakfast. Oh, we had this a like sober uh, breakfast. So I <laughs> Kelly you. still reminds me about this because like normally when you first meet someone, you're like, let's go get drinks, let's, let's go get dinner. Drinks, drinks, drinks. Or you just see each other at events and you're like, hey. Yeah, but I knew. I was like, Kelly and I have something going. Like, she's going to be a good friend. So I said, literally, I was like, can we get breakfast? Oh my God, this dog. Okay. There's the Popeye. Yeah, we had a nice intentional conversation. Yes, we had a nice intentional conversation. That's what we just did just now. We had a nice, I don't even know how long we were there. Lunch. Three hour lunch. I know, I texted Kelly. I was like, just confirming for lunch. And you're like, bitch. She sends me like three hours dedicated Locked in her down. calendar. Well, I said long lunch with Dan. Oh, wait, we're gonna take a selfie. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Hi guys, it's a little bit later. Kelly and I had a fabulous lunch, as I said in the vlog. I need a Topo Chico at the momento. Um, that rhymed. It's about that time, that little mid-afternoon, chill on the couch, listen to Nora Jones. It's becoming a little routine for me this summer and I am loving it. So, yeah, my apartment's really cold right now, which I love. So I'm gonna hop on the couch, respond to some emails. You guys already know the drill. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go for a walk on the West Side Highway with my friend, like I was saying. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. <laughs> guys, I'm laughing so hard. So I don't even know if I said this, but Ryan and his roommate Luke just moved in to their new apartment. And their living room, basically, the wall where a TV would go, there's like shelves. So he sent me a photo. They basically mounted their TV from the ceiling. They like hung it up. They had to task rabbit come and do it to be safe. But I was like, send a picture. That's what it looks like against the wall. He sends a video showing what it looks like from each angle. See it from the kitchen. From the kitchen. <laughs> what it looks like sitting on the couch. <laughs> this is what it looks like sitting on the couch. He literally sent it from the angle at which when you walk in the door, like what the TV looks like, he really just gave me a great, um, you know. But he and his roommate are so happy. They're so obsessed with their area. They're so happy with their apartment. Like this weekend after I came back from Nantucket, I went to their apartment and they were just glowing happy. They had country music playing and they had a candle burning, which they never used to do. So I can tell they're um, just really happy, so. Yeah, I texted my friend Seb, I was like, I don't think I have it in me to do a walk, but she invited me over to make me dinner, which was so nice. She was like, she literally knows me so well. She's like, I have some salmon that'll go bad if that I need to cook. She's like, but I have chicken I can make you, and then I'll do a salad on the side, no dressing. I'm like, oh my god. I love her so much, because she knows I don't really use salad dressing, but I'll like do like vinaigrette or something, but it's when you know like you're like true friends, you know? She was like, I'm like, oh my god, am I that hard to be a friend of? <laughs> But no, it just happened to be that she was making seafood. Salad is never a problem, but anyways, I'm gonna, I told her I'd head over like now, so I need to, I'm just gonna put on like something comfy because we're just gonna like eat, chill, catch up, maybe watch some TV in her living room and then I'll, I'll come back home. Oh my gosh, my chef, so cute, Chef Seb. She made me chicken, I'm so unwell, that's so sweet. And we've got some arugula salad here. 
She's got, is that your salmon cooking? Yeah. Love. Also, what is this candle? It smells incredible. Oh, I got it at Noise Skincare. Oh my gosh, you love that place. Moso Bamboo. Okay, noted. It smells so good in here. I really tell people that I like to cook. Yeah, I didn't know this about you. Hi guys, we're back now. Seb and I hung out and we actually watched like YouTube videos. She made me chicken milanese. It was so good. It was so lovely. And I just got back and I got my package in from local European. I've been on watch to buy their pants because I love, I mean, you guys saw the pants I was wearing earlier, the baggy pants. Um, the parachute pants are super popular right now. And I've been wanting these local European ones. It's kind of, it's obviously like nighttime, so it's hard to see, but there's all kinds of like, flaps and pockets and it's like a drawstring so I could um like make this more low rise depending on how I wanted it I got hold on <laughs> I have to tie this again I got a size medium large to so see I can make it high waisted or I could bring it down a little bit more do low rise whatever you're feeling I got a medium large I'm happy with it they definitely like run on the larger side I'd say but I I feel like too if I wash them once they might shrink a little bit um, ooh, I might have to get the bottoms. I'm just realizing that now. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to get these hemmed. Or do they have a raw hem? Could I cut them? I don't know. I always just cut. I'll just cut them with my fabric scissors, which isn't always good. But I am happy with these. It's hard to see right now because it's like dark out and just looks like I have sweatpants on. But definitely a vibe. And then I also got them in white. So let's see how those look. These are the white ones. They're slightly different. They have like a zip up. At least they feel... Yeah, they have different pockets and stuff, so I guess I purchased two different styles, but I really like these. I really like these a lot. These are not too sheer. I'm not wearing, like, I'm wearing, like, not tan underwear, and you still can't see it, so that's good. I'm happy with these. This is so fun. Not everyone's style, but I'm really happy. Like, I feel like this is so nice when you want to be comfortable. You kind of want to look put together. Pop on some sort of shirt. Like, you could do a hat situation with, like, a nice bag. A moment okay also when I was on the local European website which is where these pants are from I saw this top and they also have it in black and I just had to have it I thought this could also just be a fun outfit in itself with some heels at night with like a little clutch love so yeah I also got this it's really nice like thick material I'd, I'd wear my little nippies with it I love it a little late night try on that's like one of my favorite things like I listen to a podcast and I try on clothes even if it's just like already in my closet, I'm like, let's put together outfits for no reason. So I'm just going through a really cool PR package I just got from Credit Karma. They also sent me this mask. 12 out of 10 people say this mask gives them the glowiest skin they've ever had. And I've actually had this tea before. It's amazing. It's relaxing tea. And then I've literally always wanted one of these. Um, my dad uses one every single day. It's the Ember Temperature Control Mug. It's a white one. It's so cute. So I hate when my coffee gets cold, like the second half of it is never as enjoyable. So I think I'm going to charge this up and try it tomorrow because I feel like it'll make my cup of coffee in the morning really thrilling. Um, but I love homesick candles. I literally have a ton down here. And they sent this one, which is Evening Unwind. It smells like lavender. Let's see. Yeah, it's Valencia orange, green tea, melon, blue lavender, lemon, moss, sweet and musk. Sit back, relax, and reflect on the day. It's time to unwind. A smoothing, a soothing mix of green tea and lavender lulls you to a state of calm. And I was like, Pfft. sign me up. Relaxing evening. So we're going to light this together. So that's just what I do. Oh, I love lighting a candle for the first time. I mean, who doesn't? That's so satisfying. Good morning, everybody. We're going to try my ember mug today. Okay, so I don't really understand. I have it at 130 degrees. Oh, oh, that's a tea timer. Okay, no, this is for coffee. Does it just know when I have coffee in it, I guess? Let's give it a shot. Oh my gosh, whoa, it shows it heating up. I have it put at 135 to keep it at. They say that's an ideal, like, coffee temperature. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, this is so cool. I'm ice rolling. Oh, so it's super hot right now, but it's going to keep it at that temperature. This is so interesting. Well, obviously it's hot right away but hopefully it'll stay hot updates to come i charged this overnight apparently it stays 
battery power for an hour and a half. I'll link this below. I know they have them on Amazon. Um, I have to send a picture to my dad because he loves it. So he'll be like, oh my gosh, you got one. I have to update. I am on the last sip and it's been a minute and my coffee is still completely hot. I am so happy right now. Um, so I'll link the Ember mug below because I'm obsessed. So I self tanned last night. <laughs> what do I do? This literally never happens. I did it right before I bet I went to bed. I was half asleep, but I was like, I want my face to be a little bit more tan. So I did what I always do and I just really forgot to do my forehead. And I'm going to work out and I'm gonna have my hair up. This is so embarrassing. I guess I could just like wear a hat while I work out. Or I could like Tell my trainer like this is what's going on and then just wear it when I'm walking around after Very small problem, but oh my gosh Okay, I bought this bag of avocados and I heard in a podcast that it is hard to find Like ready to go avocados these days and I have to agree like when I was shopping at Trader Joe's I was looking for avocados that were ripe that day so I could you know eat one the next morning and like They're getting there. This one has a little red to it. I hope that's okay. You want them to be like pretty soft. This one's like kind of soft, but I don't, yeah, I'm just gonna do it because I'm craving an avocado with an egg right now. All right, let's see. Oh. <laughs> this really is my favorite breakfast in the entire world. Currently listening to Rap Caviar. I haven't listened to it in a while and I found this song that Drake's on. It's so good, Staying Alive. Highly suggest I'm packing my little tote bag for the gym. I think I'm gonna ride a city bike there. Got all my stuff. Um, yeah, this bag is from Amazon. If I can find it, I'll also link it below. A little puffer bag. It's just great. I like to use a zipper on top, and when I do a city bike, you know, I want to make sure everything's set. And I was like, if it falls off, which it never does, you know, it's padded. I don't know. That was my thinking. Here is my gym OOTD. Top is the one I was wearing. Uh, I think I wore it yesterday. Yeah. Um, but I'm wearing it again. I didn't wear it to the gym. Did I wear this yesterday? I don't remember. Oh, I, wonder, I wore it under a sweatshirt to go hang out with Seb, but you guys probably didn't even know that. Beyond Yoga tank top. Leggings, Lululemon, APL sneakers. Wearing this Nike hat. I used to, um, like, when I would teach spin, I would wear this hat with, like, my little headset. It was a vibe. Um, and, yeah. We're gonna go, and we're gonna get after it. I haven't made my bed. I'm sorry. <laughs> each other in a couple days and I'm near his apartment so I was like I'll walk to you he can take a little lunch break we're gonna just get like a quick lunch catch up came across this really cute um, pop-up shop in NoHo look how cute this dress is I think I need it like I have my leggings <laughs> I'm buying it it's $70 I'm buying this this is so cute Guys, this is it. She just told me it's permanent. You literally have to go. It's so cute. It's all women-owned New York businesses right on Broadway and like the corner of Bleecker. So cute. Okay, I got you something, Ryan, because you guys like candles now. It's, it's called Per My Last Email. Per My Last Email? Is this a Gwyneth Paltrow thing? No, no, no. It's not the vagina <laughs> candle. Wait, your TV looks so... Oh my God, it's huge. Love. Uh, Tostada, so it's no meat, but it looks delicious. Ryan got a burrito and a, he's so weird. He likes pineapple things on food. Yum. Back in Soho now, we had a lovely lunch. I'm going to La Labo to get a perfume that I finished filled up. Cause if you keep the bottle, you get 20% off. And the, the scent 10 Noir is like my favorite ever and I'm already done with it. So I have it in my bag to get them filled up. And then I'm gonna stop by Lululemon because there's some leggings I want to try. 
All right, now I just left the goop store. I need to go home. Big haul to come. Oh my gosh, I'm so content right now. I just took a shower, but I thought it'd be fun to do a good old fashioned shopping haul, like a good old boost of serotonin. Here are my shopping bags. Um, I feel like so many people, like we used to do like mall hauls, you know? Um, not that people don't do it anymore, but like we do so much online shopping. I don't know, it's fun to like go into the store is what I'm saying. I unintentionally shopped today, but there's some things that I've been wanting and I had some time today. I've just had a lovely day. It's a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday I was just cramping like no other, just feeling crappy and today was a beautiful day and I'm really grateful to have this day. I'm grateful that I got to do some shopping. One of the things I purchased, I guess we'll start with the Goop store. I, oh my gosh, it says have, have a Goop day. Um, I love the Goop store so much. It's Gwyneth Paltrow store. I got the Crown Affair towel. I have been wanting this for so long. Jordan, who edits my videos, she's probably watching this right now. Like, finally you got it. She told me about the Crown Affair towel. It's just a lot more gentle on your hair. Like, it doesn't pull as much as, like, if you used a regular towel. And it apparently makes your hair dry really nicely. So, we're trying it out. Right now, it's just like a towel. And then there's, like, an elastic that you can put it in in the back so it stays put. And then the reason I walked into Goop, I also met a subscriber that works there. So, shout out. I got a mini... Theragun. I've been wanting one of these for so long. My brother has one so whenever I would go home and he would have his out. He had the bigger one and I would like use it on my neck and my back. But I thought it'd be really cool to have the mini one. It's just smaller. I don't have a lot of room to have that big thing. Um, so yeah, and it's like a little mini pink one. It's basically like a little massage gun. So it's like and it feels so good, especially after working out. If you're sore, if you wake up the next day and you kind of just need to like loosen up the muscles. I love these so much, so I'm excited to finally have my own. That and pair with my foam roller will be good to go. I went to Kith. I've been wanting to go to Kith and every time I walk by, there's like a really long line. But today, it's obviously like a Thursday during the day. It was perfect time to go. Um, I'm really liking wearing hats and I really like this style of hat. I got this one. It's just a simple Kith hat. I love this dad cap trend right now. I thought this was, and it's gray, and I actually have some gray New Balances that I just need to wear more. They're like the 550s, I've had them for about a year now, and I think this would tie in really well with those shoes, and if I wore those white local European pants that you guys saw that I got with like a black top or just something like simple, I feel like that's really nice, and I just, I mean, I wore a hat today. I'm in my hat era. I'm, take a shot every time I say era, I'm aware. Um, yeah, and this bag is so nice. I think I need to keep it. I always fold up all my shopping bags because you never know if like you need to send someone out with something and like here I have some bags or whatever. Um, I went to the Labo as I was telling you guys. I got my perfume filled. I brought them my bottle and they filled it up. Um, I got 20% off since I brought in the bottle. Um, Ten Noir is the scent that I got. It literally smells so good. I don't even know how to explain it honestly. I don't know. It's like a very fresh scent, but like with a little like sultry to it. If you guys have been to the Edition Hotels, it smells like that. It's the best um, explanation I can give. But they also like create a little label. So they wrote Danielle with like these little hearts. I was just like, have fun with it. And that's what they did last time too. They said wait 24 hours because um, they literally mix it in front of you. They create the scent right in front of you. Um, so they said just wait like 24 hours because it's like freshly mixed or whatever. I don't really know. Went to Lululemon. I haven't shopped at Lululemon in a minute because there's so many amazing athleisure brands now, but honestly, Lululemon tried and true. I wanted a new pair of the Align leggings. The leggings I was wearing today, I think they're the Wonder Unders and those are great. They're more compressing, but they just don't hike up as much as I want. And like, I hate how they like, when I was working out, they would slide down. Not for me. So I got the just black Lululemon Align pants. They're I found out, she, I was like, which ones are the most high-waisted? And she said, they're all the same waist, um, like high-waisted. But she was like, you might want the aligns because they like are a little bit more stretchy, so they might pull up more. And I was like, okay, yeah, I definitely need a new pair of aligns. And then I got a black bra to go with it, just like a standard black sports bra. I think this is called the Flow, the Flow Y Bra Nulu. Um, so it's not good for like soup. I, I would probably not do super intense cardio I don't know if it's super supportive, but for like weightlifting and stuff I feel like this is good. And then I got the I've always wanted these I've never had them the align 
biker shorts because you guys know how much I love biker shorts, especially in the summer. Um, so yeah, these are the Align six inch biker shorts and I think these are gonna look super cute. Goes with this and then it also goes with this. So I've got like two sets in one here. Um, so yeah, so I got Lululemon and then obviously you guys saw the dress that I bought at the little market store, which is so cute. Um, my friend's having a Studio 54 themed birthday party. So I may wear that to it because it's like feathers and fun. I don't know, we'll see. Dinner time, I'm gonna do that chicken parm I was talking about or like, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like a salad situation, like an arugula salad with Italian dressing that I have in the fridge. Some mozzarella sprinkled on top, this on top with like a little tomato. Or actually, I don't even, I guess I wouldn't do the tomato sauce if I did the Italian dressing. I'm starting to like this Italian dressing idea. It's kind of like a chicken milanese situation. I know I had that last night, but it's so good. Added with mozzarella, oh my gosh. And the Italian dressing that I do believe I have could be a moment. And then I wouldn't need the pasta sauce. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll do this. So I realized what I was missing, why I wanted to add the tomato sauce, because normally I would add like cherry tomatoes to this, but I just put the Italian dressing all over, mixed some mozzarella, arugula, and just some breaded chicken, and I feel like it's gonna be really tasty. I would sacrifice anything of having you near. Mwah, that hit the spot. And for dessert, we're gonna have a plum cot. This is the sweetest package ever from Fenty Beauty. BRB freaking out. Um, if you guys watch the vlogs, you know me and Brooke will put on um, these Fenty Beauty gloss bombs on right before we record and we'll have them. Like, I was inspired by Brooke. She would always have them on her lap or whatever while we record. And I was like, these are, I mean, I already had these lip glosses and I love them, but um, they're just like a fun little gloss to put on. And they're just like such cute little bottles. So they sent me three. They're like, we know you love some gloss before gals on the go. So cute. So personal. I love when companies just like know about you, you know? So this is the clear one, pink one, and another pink one. I'm so excited. You know me, just my late night closet things. <laughs> I just reorganized my bags because they were all jumbled and it was stressing me out. Um, and I hung up some clothes that I've just folded. I haven't like reorganized my pants in a really long time. I used to have them organized by like denim, cargo, leather. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might try and put all the denim together. But I'm going to try and get the pants that I could see myself wearing most like this summer in the front. Because I do like wearing pants, especially like lighter pants in the summer. Like my cargos and stuff. So I'm going to keep these in the front with like my favorite jeans and then go from there. Like I'm still not ready to pull out my leather pants. Those are a staple in the winter for sure. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. I'm just constantly organizing my closet. I will dream of one day having a walk-in closet. <laughs> I will dream because that would be a very exciting moment for me. Okay, I have my flashlight on so you guys can see. I'm really happy with this. So I put my black pants in the back, denim in the middle, and then my cargo pants, like my looser, you know, lighter fabric for the summer pants. And it just looks so good. I can't wait to, like, get dressed tomorrow. <laughs> and then everything else is not organized. I would ideally like to organize my sweat sets. It's so hard to fold them and make them perfect. I mean, that's just sad, but nobody's perfect and I've got to work it again and again till I get it right. It's that time of night. <laughs> it's like I'm blowing out a birthday cake. Going to bed. Oh, oasis, oasis. I am so beyond excited. Got my Amazon PJs on. Just need to brush my teeth. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. I'm headed to my last workout of the week. Fridays, we work out with Katie, so it's a lot more fun. It's really fun to have a partner. My set is from Story. I've been loving their stuff. Gals on the Go merch tote bag. I love this. G-O-T-G. -G, kind of like I Heart New York. My APLs, hair is up. Sunglasses are Gucci. I've had them forever and I literally love them so much. They're kind of like my don't text sunglasses. So let's go work out, get a good workout in. It's a good start to the day. Woo! So at the bottom you'll curl, straighten the arms. Good. Danielle, after you've done eight, you can switch sides. Katie, keep your elbows in tight. Yes, get it. Workout's done. Oh my gosh, the sun is shining on us in a good way this right now. This is a good, good 
it's giving us a little glow. It was a good <laughs> workout. We we aren't working out next week because we're going to the Hamptons. So, or at least I'm not. Next Monday through Wednesday. I'm not then, either. I'm not, yeah. I'm not working out all next week. Oh, 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 gee. Out of gym. Out of gym. I'm just rest, I'm resting up. Yes, we're resting we up. Rest. Yes, absolutely. It was a good workout, though. Now it's the weekend. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I drank to that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I fully need to listen to that later. I'm wow. I'm turning into you. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm singing everything. Singing everything you're saying. I'm in a Sam Smith mood. So, my house looks like kind of heavy. I went to CVS. And, oh my god, this is so much stuff. <gasps> So I did this back in college. I like would like leave a bag of things at Ryan's apartment or he lived in a house back then so that, you know, if we went to his place after going out or on a date, whatever, I had a ton of stuff, you know, like makeup wipes, everything like that. And I guess I just kind of went all out. I'm just not realizing, but you know, I want to be prepared because I feel like, um, cause now Ryan and I live a little bit further away from each other, a, a lot more. Like we used to live like close enough where I could just like walk back and get ready really quick. But now it's a little bit further and he's in the West Village. So I feel like we're gonna like wake up and want to like go do this. And I just like see this. I mean, I would still need to come back and get dressed and like change, I guess. But I'm gonna bring like a couple like pairs of like like cat I'm gonna bring like some leggings and stuff over to his house too. He's gonna be like, oh, you're moving in. I'm like, yes, I am. Just because like I wanna sleep there sometimes and like I wanna, I don't know. Anyways, so I got some stuff to leave at his apartment. I also collected some stuff that I had in my bathroom because I was like, I don't need to buy all of this. Like I have some extra at home. Um, so I thought I'd do a little haul for you guys of what's in my sleepover bag. But keep in mind, like it's kind of a lot. Um, but I just thought it'd be fun to have be prepared, whatever. Anyways, I don't need to defend myself. I got a wet brush to have there to brush my hair. Some tampons to have at his house too. He's gonna love that. I already had this shampoo and conditioner. This is the chlorine um, shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna keep that there as well in case I wanna wash my hair. <laughs> this is so extra. I got a boar bristle brush so that if like my hair the next morning is not the vibe, I will just slick my hair back. I got, I brought, I already had this, Living Proof Repair Leave-In Conditioner. My camera's about to die. Um, toothpaste, this is for here. I'll just use his toothpaste, but I got a toothbrush. Makeup wipes, very important. Dove spray deodorant. Ibuprofen, because he never has any. He's like, doesn't need it, but I'll need it sometimes. I'm bringing some of my Tatcha moisturizer, a claw clip. I got hair ties from Scunsy just to like leave there. I already had this, my CeraVe um, foaming facial cleanser, and then my Sunday Riley CEO um, brightening serum. So that's everything that I'm gonna keep there. And then I'm gonna get, like I said, a couple comfy clothes to have there for the next morning. Um, so yeah, that's my little haul. Anyways, I'm gonna end my vlog because my camera's about to die and I was gonna end my vlog anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.